So now let us work with matte shadow inside of Element 3D. So in order to work with matte shadow, I'm going to go on to the scene setup of my Element 3D plugin. And here I'm going to create two objects. I'm going to create a capsule object, which I'm going to apply matte shadow to, and I'm going to bring this out and I'm gonna set it to group one right here. I'm just going to delete the group folder right here because I want them separately. So I'm gonna go into my starter pack, which I'm going to uh, use to see how matte shadow works. I'm going to uh, select the spray can right here and I'm going to select this onto my group two, just like that. So here's my capsule module and here's my spray, pick, uh, spray can. So on the capsule module, I just have the default material applied onto this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, scroll down. I'm going to select the object right here. And once I scroll down, I'm going to select matte shadow. So once you do that, you can see that there's the invisible matte shadow, which is actually appearing. And even if I were to turn on the environment, you won't actually see anything right here besides it blocking the grid point right there, just like that. So here's my spray can without any matte shadow and here's my capsule module. I'm going to press OK. And immediately you can see that now only the half spray can is actually appearing. So my spray can is in group two. So I'm going to go on to my particle replicator and change my position G just like this. So I can bring it backward or in the front. And you can see that now immediately it actually comes up. So matte shadow, when enabling the matte shadow actually makes the object invisible right there. So now once I actually change this out, this is my bottle as you can see. And if I were to move this backward, the object is still there. And once the object touches the object above, you can see that now it acts something like an invisible layer. And it seems as if the layer is being invisible. So it's just going at the back and then acts as an invisible layer. So if I were to create some shape over here, so let me just uh, create a new uh, um, shape layer right here. So I'm going to go on to my shape layer and drag it behind the Element 3D plugin. And then I'm going to select some star tool right here. So let me just select the star tool and you can see that this uh, object is still there. So I'm, I can select my dark gray solid. I'm going to uh, remove this out, change the G position backward. And you can see that now this actually appears. It does not, the background does not really affect the matte shadow. You can see that now the invisible object makes the, in, make, makes the object behind it invisible. So that is how you can utilize Matte Shadow inside of Element 3D plugin. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.